Okay, guys. Demo. Demo inside the building out again. You guys like this view? Ah, oh, shit. I want the staircase again. And if I know him, he's gonna knock the staircase down now. cables inside here you guys want to see what it looks like the profile that's a little sheathing on it right here that's the cable all in good shape this is the eight it's the end so one two three three p evenly spaced it looks like yeah i would say evenly spaced so that would that would basically make it uh not quite because there's a uh More load, at the, more load. Uh, let's see. No, no, they built this. Huh? Yeah, that's able to pull off. This, this is able to slide off. They put that on top of it. I'll have to check that. For, 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 oh, you know, no, no, no. It's, it slides off. They built the uh, the wear layer on top. So they must have formed this and then, no, I didn't see the cement come through it. This is an interesting little deal. All right, back to this. Um, so this is the top and that's the bottom. So what does that mean, guys? If, it, if it's a long span, this cable, the top of the cable would do that. And the bottom of the cable would do what? Would do that also. Except for this one at the bottom becomes in tension as it pulls away and this one becomes and compression that doesn't make sense does it because the bottom is also the same profile as this so this one should also be um, and compression also right if this one's in compression at the top shouldn't that one be in compression at the bottom all right you guys know how I play it so play along all right so I so what's going on is the concrete is in tension at the bottom. It's opening up as it expands. The top is in compression. And if, the con if this is placed in the concrete and it's in compression, well then their cable's getting closer together and no longer, uh, it's acting more like a, uh, a stirrup, a swing, if you will, to hold it up like this capacity, pulling down from the top. Whereas the bottom, is since it is it is tight it is locked in it has to try to stretch this cable to make a deflection and the cable and it and to some degree is trying to stretch the middle one also the top one i'm going to say that it's not it's it's not stretching it at all that any deflection is a relaxing of the top cable so any deflection is a relaxing of the top cable and any deflection is a tensioning of the bottom cable. So tensioning and around the middle axis, this one too. But this one, any rela any deflection, relaxing of the top cable. That's my position. So look, this thing is dissected, fully cracked. Oh, sorry about that. All you talking about, though? All right, guys, check this out. So here's the crack. It's fully cracked. If uh, there's a little bit of wire in there, um, this should break free except the wire is saving it. Let's put some load on it. That's me with the load on it. So here's my leg out here. And that wire is protecting that from falling out. The tension in it. Now let's get you over here and, and you see the wear layer. This is what I was talking about. You see the, the 
two layers. There's the uh, the base for the uh, the uh, W beam, the concrete beam, and here's the wear layer, which is a different uh, concrete mix up top than the uh, aggregate at the bottom. All right. As you can see, they put a wear layer on the second floor, on the second floor, this to be in the first floor. And on the top roof deck, they put no wear layer. Um, uh, uh, a leveling layer. Now, they, these butt so well, I didn't see any um, concrete come between it. They, they butt so well, they did a great job. And I don't see any tape or any material that they put there to try to bridge it. They did a good job. There's no, they did a good job back then. All right, and we come to the edge of it here. We can look and see that a little bit came through. You know, the cream, uh, the uh, uh, drip through here, but that's about it. I see that that would be one of the edges. So doing pretty damn good. They got it. They got those things snug. They butted them up pretty damn good. So keep in mind, I'm doing these videos for you guys on the fly, I'm trying to worry about my safety and focus on what's got to be done here also so if I make a mistake correct correct me in there and we'll get it uh we'll get you guys all corrected up thumbs being welded on today on that machine that's the scrap metal being pulled away I want those stairs so I like to see those stairs in my possession one might be twisted already, I'm not sure. I think I might run to the store and get a, uh, a uh, you can clamp them and then lift them out. I think I might just do that. I don't. I had one and lost it. Or it got liberated as I call it. I mean somebody else liked it more. Um, so I like to pull those steps out and, and take them. Just the stairs. I can maybe do the railing if it comes down to it. section here won't be here today that's all coming out that's the goal look at that tree all right trying to pound it off trying to break the last bit of the welds you burned all right let me get to get back to work here for you guys get back to work I'm trying to think what I can point over here all right, so that's a cantilever, right? It's over a cantilever from the two other columns. How much could it take? I don't know. I'd like to put a machine on it and just see how much it flexes by. But that piece of steel is so beautiful, beautiful and straight. I want it. Yep, it's a cantilever. All right, let's see if I can zoom in. There's no splice down until you get down to there. He's pretty low, but the overcast, right? So everyone would say that he's gonna crash now. Come on. He's obviously seeing pretty damn well. I can see pretty damn well. Terminating this video, get you another one in a bit.